we're now going to create a harmony track from the corrected lead box track. So over here in my groups that I set up earlier, I'm going to click on the V to make these two empty harmony tracks that we created earlier visible. If I click on the lead vocal and hold down the shift and the alt keys, you will see a waveform icon has appeared. If I release the shift and alt keys and drag down to my harmony one track, and I'm going to click on OK in the dialog box as we want the original time code. So I'm now going to create the harmony out of the lead vocal. Let's click over here to solo the harmony outs. And I'm going to right click here to make walk region. And I click here to make harm one full screen. If you shift the vertical scroll bar, the white line represents where the pitch is located in the signal. And if you need to expand it, you can use this button here that can make the pitch traces bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to highlight the first section here and change the pitch by choosing the selector tool. Now let's move the audio up. Select the audio and push the Y key to select the playback range. Ooh, underneath your sky. Ooh. Now let's move this note down. Ooh, underneath your sky. Ooh. Perfect. Now let's move these notes here. If you find the pitch tone too loud, you can click this button down here to change the tuning preview and change the volume of the pitch tone by moving this slider. Okay, now select the audio, push the Y key for the playback range, and let's hear where we are so far. Hold it all inside. Now let's move this note, and let's hear that. Hold it all inside. Move this note. Hold it all inside. Let's hear the new harmony with the guide track it was created from. Ooh, underneath your sky, hold it all inside. 